Today we're going to take a quick look at the latest new 2024 and 2023 motorcycle and scooter model lineup announcement that was just released by American Honda. We'll dive into what changes were thrown at these bikes when compared to last year, their release dates to dealers, so you'll know when you can get your hands on them and more. Before we do that though, if you find my content helpful and or enjoy it, what? I know that last part is a stretch there, but if you'd like to help keep these videos coming, please consider checking out the join button below and some of these support links down in the description to help keep this train chugging along as without your support my days are numbered now with that being said let us begin first up are the round of 49 cc 2024 scooter models released and we've got the ruckus making a return and the only changes thrown at it are some new flavors for 2024 on the ruckus we've got a new beige color scheme that's definitely going to inspire some military style builds and then the next new color is black and i say new like that because it's been offered in black before but it's different from last year in the sense that we saw these three colors dropped off in exchange for these two and surprisingly enough no price increase no that can't be right i know crazy huh and these are set to start releasing the dealers in april and now for your take let me know what you guys think about your options for 2024 on the ruckus down in the comments then we move over to the 2024 honda metropolitan and it's an easy one as it was just a copy and paste job from last year with the same matte armored green and blue metallic paint options making a return and sadly the metro did see a price increase for this year but thankfully it was only 50 bucks but i gotta say the more the metro and ruckus creep up on that three thousand dollar price point it only makes the navi at 1807 dollars even more of a bargain with its 110 cc engine back on topic though the 2024 metropolitan is set to start releasing the dealers in may followed up by the one that so many people have been waiting to get their hands on as we've talked about the new 2023 honda trail 125 also known as the ct125 and hunter cub around the world for over six months now but american honda has finally made it official it sees the same new engine that the super cub 125 saw last year albeit with some slight tweaks that we'll get into in our deep dive review however just like with the cub sadly no five speed like the grom and monkey that share a variant of this engine but we do finally see american honda show us a little love with a new flavor as up until now the rest of the world has seen different colors while we're stuck with red each year this green is called pearl organic green and pictures and videos don't really do this shade justice but if you check out the 2022 rebel 500 or the CB500X from the last two years, it's the same color. Some of the other changes include rear shocks that now have preload adjustability when compared to last year's, and there's also a new support bar on the crash bars, linking them together for a bit more strength when compared to last year. And that's the news. What do you guys think about it all? Any other changes you wish Honda would have thrown at some of these bikes? Honda does pay attention to these videos, so let your voices be heard down in the comments section and let's talk about it all, as these videos aren't just for me to ramble on. But on that note, thanks for watching, and if you'd like to help support the future of these videos, please consider checking out that join button below and some of the links down in the description. And that's a wrap for this one. Thanks for watching and supporting all of this. I really appreciate it, and a big thank you to our channel members for helping to keep this going, and we'll see you guys in the next one.